Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove a wrinkle using Photoshop and smoothen the skin as well. Just clean up the pores. So before we do that, make sure you duplicate the layers so you have a backup and you can see the comparison of before and after. So I'm going to hit Control, um, press Control J, or if you're using Mac, you can press Command J. So after that, um, this is my backup. I'm going to rename this one with uh back up okay and then here we'll be using a patch tools to trace the area uh, i mean remove the area and replace it with a uh, new skin okay so we will trace this part in here you can make as long as it has a um an, a smooth area like you can make a, as bigger as you want to but i just okay let me just make this one i mean i want to trace the entire wrinkles in here like that like if you notice in here there's really a difference with the texture if you really zoom it in um it's a bit obvious that it is photoshop but we will fix that later okay um okay and then you can control Z if you want to undo your process. Okay, this one is really common when you are patching things, but that can be fixed using the brush tools later. Okay, once we're done, I can give you, okay, this is like the before, before, and then the after, before and after. Like, it's not too obvious, but if you really... If you really know Photoshop and you zoom it in, there's really like a difference when it terms of texture, but we'll fix that later. Okay, now we'll jump in with the picture that has an eyeglasses. Um, okay, we will remove this wrinkle. And as much as possible, I want I don't want to use the area where there's no eyeglasses because I still want to replicate the eyeglasses shadow on it. So we'll use this one under the eye bug. Okay. Like if you notice here, like it's too natural. I really like the, the result. There's a big, there's a difference in here with the texture, but we can fix that later. Again, when you are tracing it, make sure you have like the enough, um, you not enough texture where you want to replicate um, the area. Okay, now let's say you're not contented with how it is patched, like it's too obvious, you think it's too obvious. And by the way, here's the before and here's the after. Before and after. I still want to keep the wrinkles there so it, it's still natural. But yeah, if you're not contented with the, the patching thing, like you think it's too obvious, the texture is too obvious, obvious, you can use the brush in here and use the um, soft round and we'll add a new layer and then just select a skin tone that... Okay, we'll select a skin tone here. Yeah, press it there. Okay, obviously it, it looks very weird right now, but you, you'll see the difference later. Like it will make sense later. And I'll put it in here. And then same here. Okay, and then we will convert this one into hard light. Um, maybe, yeah, lighter color. Let's use the lighter. Yeah, I can use the lighten. You can play around with this one, by the way. And then just, 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 um, adjust the opacity. So here's without and here's with. Like, there's a little bit of difference. Um, but in terms with the lighting and I think it, it still helps a lot So yeah, that's how it works and if I have any question, please don't forget to message me or comment down below I'll be happy to assist you. Have a great day. Thank you